Yo, Steve. Yes, Nathan. So I was thinking the other day. I remember a story about you, and I, I want to know if you remember it. Probably not. So,、uh, for listeners listening, Steve has a pretty shit memory. Oh, it's awful! It's one of the worst. Back in the day, Steve would come up to me and say, "Hey, Nate, what was that thing I did that one time?" And I'm like, "Oh, this." Yeah, and I'd be like, "Yep, that was it." What did I? What was it, word for word? And then you'd be able to pretty much say it word for word. Right, right. Like, I wasn't great with quotes necessarily, but I was great with generality. So、mm. I could give you the full aspect and detail of the story. I can tell you what happened, who was there, and everything. You know, everything that occurred. It seems like you remember things in a really broad sense, and you remember a lot of things in a really broad sense. And when I remember things, they're so laser focused, like it's verbatim. But I can only remember little bits of things. So, like, you'll be telling me a story about something that we did. I won't remember it, but then, like, one little thing will happen, and I'll remember every word that was said for that little bit. That, that's, that's that's interesting. So together we make a full cohesive story. Oh my god! So this will be great. This, this will be great. This will be great. We, we need to talk. Welcome back. So glad you could join us. So you had a very specific story in mind that you wanted to talk about here today, Nathan. Right, right. So remember how? No, I'll give you your name. So remember that person in your life, your stepmother. E- yeah. Remember how she was a crazy bitch. Yeah. And do you remember how she used to have you bike ride all the time? Mm-hmm. So you told me this story a while back, and. It was something about when you're on a bike ride, and this is like a bike ride, like a long bike ride, and it's one of the many ones you went on. Okay, there are many stories, so I'm interested to see which one specifically. Okay, so this is what you told me. Now I'm not gonna get the exact right. It's been like 52 years or something. Yeah, that sounds about right. But it will be pretty accurate. So you're coming. Wait, you need to be playing some like、uh, some some music in the background at this point. Okay. Like like some have some music start to come in right now. Here it comes out、oh, there it is. Okay, and now it's just softly gonna play in the background through the whole story. Go ahead, sets the mood. Okay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no no no! Don't sing it right now. It's already playing. Go. <laughs> okay. No, Steve was riding his bike one day. His stepmom, who shall be unnamed, said, "Steve, ride your bike," and he did. And as he was riding his bike, he sees a giant wild pig just crossing the road. <laughs> This already sounds fake. Go ahead. And Steve, I guess, was pretty alarmed. He was kind of confused, like, "What the fuck? What, what's this pig doing?" And <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this is outlandish, and I don't know how you remember this more than I do. Like, you'd think this would be something I would remember. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, for, this is part of the story I don't understand myself. Apparently, you got off your bike. You didn't even like, you know, put it somewhere. You didn't kick it up or anything, and you just start chasing the pig. <laughs> well, what would you do in that situation? And not only did you chase the pig, but you chased it into the woods. And you said you were chasing for like a good five, ten minutes, and you're like covered in sweat, and you almost catch it, and then it, you know it starts circling around, and you just you just don't catch it. But that was the day you almost caught a pig. Um. You're missing a key part to that, which is the part that gets me in trouble. What was that part? So,、uh, a little more context.、Um, I I now remember this. I did not remember that this ever happened before. You just said it. Now I remember it.、Um, so the so I see this pig cross the road, right? And we're we're pretty in, pretty in the country. I mean, not, it's definitely not a city. And so I'm like, oh, that must be somebody's pig. Like, ah,、uh, it escaped their yard. They they're gonna want it back. So it only makes sense. I immediately dumped my bike and ran after the pig to try and get it for for the neighbor. And、uh, as I'm chasing, I'm chasing it into the woods, and it's going deeper and deeper. And as it gets deeper and deeper, it starts heading more into swamp-like territory. But I'm not concerned about the terrain. I'm concerned about the pig. So、uh, I, I'm I'm start I'm gaining on it. It's it's doing some weaving, and I'm trying to go straight to to make up the time because it has a head start and it's fucking fast. And I'm a bigger pig than it is. And then, eventually, I I step and it's really marshy, so my foot sinks right into the into the swamp, and it's I'm up to my ankle, almost my shin in mud, and so,、uh, but I'm still running. So as I take my next step, that foot sinks into the mud, 
and then my first foot is coming out of the mud and my shoe stays. So now I'm I'm on one leg and I realize my foot's out of a shoe because I, I was suctioned into the ground. So now I'm standing on one leg staring at a pig who stopped just to look at me with one foot and I, I, I I'm like, well, well, what the fuck do I do? Like I'm on one leg and it's it's all the way back there, and my shoe is so, like I try and lean down and get it, but I I lose my balance and um, my foot like my sock lands in the in the mud, and I'm like, well fuck it at this point. So I lean down and I pull out the shoe and it's like it was really stuck, so I had to like pull really hard and finally it like came out with a pop, and I was able to get my other foot out with the shoe still intact, but. Now my sock is ruined, and my shoe is pretty well ruined because it was covered in mud. So uh, I, I just, I'm like, you know what, pig, whatever. And I walk back home, and, I, well, I walk back to my bike, and then I get on my bike and I ride home. And I walk in, and, like, my stepmom's furious. She's like, why did you ruin your shoes? Why did you ruin your sock? And I'm, and like, I try to explain the story, but, like, <laughs> the story's pretty ridiculous. Like... <laughs> I saw a pig, so I chased it into the woods and stepped in the swamp. <laughs> to be honest, I was kind of doubting myself like halfway through that story. I'm like, whoa, whoa, did this really happen? <laughs> did it, 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 it really happened, and I got in a lot of trouble for getting my shoes dirty. Yeah, and it's also funny because once you started like going through the whole like uh, getting your shoe caught, I'm like, oh, yeah, you told me about this part. That's why I brought the stepmom, of course. But I, I didn't remember it while I was telling it. Yeah, I got in like a ton of trouble for getting my shoes dirty and getting my sock dirty. And like they were, they were cleanable. It's not like they were completely ruined. Uh, so I don't understand why I was in so much trouble. I was honestly trying to help out my neighbor who I thought lost their pig. Right. Well, she, but it is a pretty ridiculous story. She's pretty OCD, so that that's probably why. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, yeah. So did you ever see that pig again? I I didn't. Um, you know, I I did tell the story about my first time, and it was not associated with this, though it, it did sound like it. Now, if you saw that pig again. What would you say to it? I would say, hey, Mr. Pig, you got me in trouble. We need to talk. Don't you want to pig out for We Need to Talk? Well, we're at Twitter, WNTT1. Also, we're at Facebook at We Need to Talk Show with a Patreon. Get us ring on iTunes. And, you know, just tell us what's up. You know, we want to get in touch with our community. You know, because that's got to be cool. All right. Anything else? No. Cracks. That sounds like a terrible name for a porno. I don't know. I might, I might tap it. <laughs> you would be interested in somebody named Thundercrack? Well, not Thundercracks, but Thundercracks. No, no, the other way around. So many cracks. I mean, one crack is enough for me. Oh. Because I'll have one crack at them. <laughs> okay, we're done. 